In this tutorial, I will show you how to create and manage channels as well as use the dispatch panel in Sonoran Radio. To get started creating channels, head to the Customize tab and click on Channels and Groups. Here, you can see all the channels you've created as well as channel groups, which are used to organize channels. To create a channel group, click the green plus button in the blue row at the top. Give your group a name and then click OK. You can click on different channel groups to switch between them. To create a new channel, click the green plus button in the row below. Next, you can give the channel a name and configure it to your liking. The Advanced tab allows you to customize its transmit and receive frequencies. When you're done, click the green floppy disk button to save. If you created multiple channels within a group, you can drag and drop to reorder them. The dispatch panel is where you go to actually communicate with the radio. You'll first want to click connect. Along the top you'll see the groups you've created, the channels within them, and a list of any users connected to a given channel. On the right you can choose to open the dispatch panel in its own new window, or you can access the settings. Here you can configure audio devices, set hotkeys such as push to talk, and configure any sound effects. To transmit over the radio, you can use your push to talk hotkey or the mic icon in the top left. To switch to another channel, click the microphone icon on the left. Or you can control click the microphone icon to transmit to multiple channels at once. You can also click the headphone icon to listen to a channel without transmitting to it. At any time, you can click the gear icon on the right side of a channel if you need to change its settings. If you have the permission, you can drag and drop other users to change their channels. If you have the permission, you can right click their name to kick them, move them to another channel, change their display name, or the volume that they transmit at. You can also right click yourself to change your own display name if you have the permission for that. This button allows you to see audio logs of past transmissions. This button allows you to see any emergency calls placed via the in-game integration. And here we have the tone board, which allows you to broadcast audio tones to the different radio channels. You can customize your community's audio tones by going to the Customize tab, clicking Tone Board, and uploading your new file. When you're done, remember to click the green plus button to add it. Back in the tone board, you can select the channel or channels you would like to broadcast to. Click on a tone to broadcast it to that channel. You can set your tones to repeat for a certain amount of time or for a certain number of times, or you can toggle stack mode, which allows you to play a sequence of tones back to back. The mic icon allows you to record a short audio snippet with your mic and send it as an audio tone, and the magic icon allows you to send AI text to speech as an audio tone. To use the AI text-to-speech, you will need to add an OpenAI API key to your Sonoran Radio settings. Please see this page on the documentation for instructions on that. With stack mode enabled, click on any tone to add it to the sequence. You can drag and drop tones if you need to reorder them, and when you're ready, click the play button. This is a test. The AIs will rise up and take over the world. And that is how you create and manage channels, as well as use the dispatch panel in Sonoran Radio. In part 3 of this series, I will show you how to use the radio in-game.